It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. You know it's your birthday. Show the world that it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, girl. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a full get ready with me style of video for my birthday Virgos. Yes, it's Virgo season, and I got some things that I want to play with today. So I have the Virgo lashes, and of course the matching Virgo palette. Where do you see this color story? We are bringing color for Virgo season. Yes, look at this. So pretty, right? I love this color story. It's very different. So we're going to be doing a full on birthday look. So let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. Okay, so one thing I have been liking to do when it comes to doing my makeup is I like putting on my primers and my face stuff first. And then we're going to go in with the eyeshadow. So let's go ahead and kick that off. Primer today is going to be the e.l.f. Retouchable Invisible. Invisible sunscreen. Alright, and I'm gonna prime my smell lines. For my foundation today, I'm gonna to be going in with the Urban K. All right, so now we can move on to the eyes while I let this dry down. I'm gonna go in with my Juvia Eye Prep Eye Prime shade number two, base. So now we're going to start off with my brow bone highlight. I'm going to go in with Buzz Word. And we're going to place that right underneath the eyebrow. We got purples, greens, and blue. I think I'm going to do it like a blue combo in a sense. So. Let's do that, yeah, blue combo. So I'm gonna start off with the matte blue. I'm gonna start off with my little pointer crease brush from e.l.f. And like I said, I'm gonna pack that blue in the crease. Blue is really not that deep as I thought it was going to be. Like, I know it probably looks deep to you guys, but it's more like a, not like a true navy blue, like a jean material kind of blue. So it's like not all the way full deep, but like, does that make sense? Like, it's not fully deep. I was surprised. But that's okay, because we're going to make this work still. All right, going in with my Morphe 433 brush. It's more of a fluffier, easy to blend type of brush. I am going to take, here am I, is this green gonna be too light? I mean, well, it's two different greens. Or should I go purple? Mix these two greens together. Actually, I'm gonna start off with the dark green first. I just wanted to see. And then I will blend it out with the lighter green. All right, I'm gonna reapply a little bit more of that blue. Okay, 
Okay, so we're gonna move on to the lid part. I am going to grab a tape towards these two beautiful metallic shades. This blue one and this pretty like jewel tone green. I'm gonna go with the lighter shade, which is gonna be that blue shade. And I'm just gonna pop it right in the inner. I'm doing the same thing for the green shade as well. That's really dark. This looks like a big old blob. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Okay. Sometimes when I sit right here and be thinking of looks, sometimes my looks don't come out as planned. Like, this is not for me. It looks too blobbity blob. So I'm trying my best to fix this. I'm just brushing in the blue towards the outer. And then with a smaller detail crease brush, this is gonna be Morphe E18. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow from Essence. This is a black eyeshadow. I gotta, cause there's nothing else deeper in this palette that I can do to make this look a little different. Cause this was not the way it was supposed to look. Maybe if I deeper up the outer. That's giving it a little bit more definition. Of course, if that don't make my vision better, when in doubt, glitter it out. <laughs> so let's pop on some glitters. Okay, this is too dark for me to... Uh -uh. I am going to pop on a little bit of this glitter. Being that this is fine glitter that I'm using, it's not going to um, take away from the eyeshadow and I don't want it to take away. I just want it to look more, what's the word, more defined I guess, because it's just looking like one big blob and I'm just not here for it. Now we getting somewhere, now we getting somewhere, okay. I was about to say, I can't throw this look away. And here is the shade of the blue that I'm using. And this one has a little bit of a green tint to it. And these glitters are not by nobody. I made them like a really, 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 really long time ago, so. Okay, I feel a lot better because at first I was like, wait, why am I looking like this? This is not looking like how I want it to look. So let me quickly do a wing, then we're gonna jump right back into this look. I was a little skeptical there. I was like, what is going on with this makeup look? A lot better, I saved it. <laughs> I saved the look, okay. We're gonna finish up the face. Today I will be using my Clinique Concealer. Before that dries down, I'm gonna go in with the Thread Concealer.
I don't know why my concealer looks extremely white today. Cause I love this concealer. This is the shade that I always use, but today it just seems to be a little bit too bright for my liking right now. So what I'm gonna do to make this work, we're gonna switch up the powders. I usually go in with Plantain, which is the caramel shade. But I'm gonna go in with Almond today. Almond's gonna be more of a calm down version of the one that I like to use. And before I put on the rest of my powder, because I totally forgot that I wanted to do a liquid blush today, I'm gonna be going in with the Julia. This is in the shade Sweet Berries. A little goes a long way with this. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with my Derma Blend. I will be contouring with my Juvia Duo. I like to take the dark shade first. Pop it on. And then my blush is gonna be the Juvia Duo. This is volume number one. I'm gonna be taking this dark shade right here. And then we're going to be highlighting with the Offre highlighter. Just a little bit today, not too much, just a, just a little bit, a little tease. All right, so before I finish up the eyes, uh, what do I want to do for my lips? It's going to be new because there's a lot going on for the eyes, so. It's a new combo type of day. For my lips, I'm going to go in with the NYX pencil. I've been liking this lip combo by Morphe, the Soulmate shade Quick Crush. And then I'm going to gloss it with the Drip Glass. And this is Pink Mirror. those lips baby yes i love this lip combo okay so we got the lips we got the blush going on now let's go ahead and finish up the eyes i'm gonna go in with the trust let say blue liner and then the shade that i would like to pop at the bottom we're not doing blue because it's just gonna make this look even darker. So I'm gonna take that dark green instead. All right, now to really shift this look, I'm gonna pop an uh, inner tear duct color that's not gonna be easy. What can I do? We ended up with green at the bottom. Let's do green in the inner. It's just gonna be a matte form. I'm gonna take that minty green look color. Mm. 
All right, my love. So here is going to be the completed look from my ver. <sighs> I did a pause. So I was like, <gasps> "Yeah, I didn't put the Virgo lashes on. I totally forgot. I totally forgot." Okay, I'll put them on next time. But today I have on the Juvia Cleopatra lashes. <laughs> I was like, because uh, I was like, wait, the moment I pushed record and I said that, I was like, girl, you didn't put the correct lashes on. That's crazy how my brain thinks, okay. But anywho, I still hope you guys like and enjoy today's look. I thought this was going to be an epic feel because it was looking like a blue mess, but I think overall the glitter and that black definitely helped what was going on with the eyes. And I'm glad that I decided to go for the green because obviously the green still looks like the rest of the eyes. Like... It didn't stand out like the way I thought it was going to, but it still doesn't look so deep and dark. I think it would have been if I would have just used the blue by itself, but well, that's what we got going. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me style of Virgo season birthday edition. Please leave me your feedback down at the bottom. Let me see my Virgos represent in the comment section as well. If you're a Virgo, represent boo. I'm not one, but I'm representing for you guys as as if I am one. <laughs> you guys all have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. Stay amazing. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.